All right, well, glad I'm doing this at one in the morning. Thanks, Scylla. So nice to have a demented child from the grudge. All right, anyways, guys, uh, welcome back to the most amazing gaming channel in the world. Today we're going to be going over the Season 3 Scylla build. Uh, this is actually ridiculously overpowered. It took me actually not too long to get it, too. I was so happy that I got it on my first few tries. So, anyways, without further ado, let's start building this up. So what you're going to want to do is grab your two first. Obviously it does a lot of damage and has the same cooldown and all that other fun stuff. Uh, after that, go ahead and grab your one, then your three, and then go back into your two, and then your ult. Now your ult is going to be very... I mean, obviously you want to upgrade it because it is actually works very, very well. Um, and then you want to go in uh, upgrade the two. The two at this point, save your eight because you're going to want your two to activate your actual passive um and all that fun stuff i mean and, and then you see the max rank and all that other fun stuff so um at that point you want to upgrade your one all the way at this point do not upgrade your ult yes it is worth it however it'll it, it's going to help you to do more because immediately after you upgrade this you get the extra 20 magic power and all that other fun stuff and anyways long story short upgrade your ult one and then go into your ult at that point go ahead and get your three and finish it off that way. Um, now to start going through with the build itself, you want to grab Shoes of Focus, Warlock Sash. This is an absolutely fundamental item that you need with her. It gives you an additional 600 health, and if no, without it, you will absolutely just get destroyed. Um, after that, go ahead and grab Kronos Pendant, Rod of Tehuti, Book of Thoth, and Spear of Deso. The reason why you get Book of Thoth over anything else, even Soul Reaver, is because her mana just go, is so incredibly high to begin with. You have more mana than you do health, so getting that Book of Thought is quite, quite helpful. Anyways, um, I mean, you can see here you do an insane amount of damage. It is ridiculous how good you are, and you will see that with the uh, build that, or the, not build, well, the build, the match gameplay build that I put up. Anyways, uh, the relics, you, you'll see I'm pretty sure um, I end up grabbing Meditation, Honestly, though, it's not super helpful because you're going to have more than enough mana. I mean, you have at 80 per 5 seconds, and the only thing you get is 15% of your owner's health. Now, 15% of, what, 2,000 is around, what, 300? So, honestly, 300 health is not anything. That's one hit from, like, an ADC as long as they don't crit. Most likely, you'd want Sanctuary or Beads. Something else that you might want to grab would potentially be Sprint. But if you really want to go for your ult, I would go with Frenzy or Curse. Because if you activate Curse and then you throw down your two and then you ult, they're going to be slowed and their magic protection is going to be down while they're in your two. So that's going to be a super good wombo combo, essentially. So you activate Curse, then you throw your two, and then you can ult and just go on your killing spree. But anyways, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. If you did, give it a like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And if you ever do want to uh, play games or anything like that, Contact me outside of YouTube, hit up that Twitter or the Twitch that is in the description box above, or below, below. And until the next time, guys, have yourself a fucking amazing life, and remember to subscribe if you haven't so you can see more amazing ass builds.